the worst part was sleeping. It's not that you don't sleep, like you sleep a lot, but um, but uh, you don't sleep well. And the and what amazed me, particularly on the way to Toronto, was how full the buses were. Like every bus I had was full, except for well, the first bus out had like ten empty seats, but after that, they were either full or had two empty seats. And one night, it was sort of ironic, like the one night where I had the, I was lucky enough. I had lucky a lot of the time people didn't like to sit next to me because I tried to look fat. <laughs> I was taking up a lot of space. Mm. And so, uh, so several times when there were only two empty seats, I had the two seats to myself. Mm. So one night, anyway, the, I can't remember, I was going out to Toronto. Like, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky I've got the two seats. And it was so difficult because I spent so much time trying to figure out how to use the two seats to sleep properly. It was actually one of my worst nights of sleep. And I ended up putting my knee through my uh, e-book, breaking my Kobo, so I had nothing. So, so that on the next day, I did all my reading off my... Um, off my crappy handheld device which actually was amazingly good at downloading my ebooks.